Let's talk about weirdly deflated gas cans and how to fix them. So I came into my garage this morning because I need to do some weed eating and I found my fuel can like this. It's almost like it's been deflated, kind of like a flat tire. If you don't have one of these nozzles on your gas can, chances are you're not having this issue. Check out my other gas can. Without one of those nozzles to seal, it looks totally fine. And so the question is, what's going on here and how do I fix it? This nozzle is really a protective feature that allows you to store your gas can more safely. So as you can see, I don't know if you can see it in the image, but there's a little button here. When in the store position, it's airtight. Nothing can escape from it. When moved to the pour position, that opens up the nozzle space so you can get to the fuel. Super handy, super safe feature, but can also leave you in a situation like this where your gas can's deflated. Or the reverse, maybe your gas can's inflated like a balloon. And so what's going on there? How do you fix it? Let's talk about it. These gas cans are made with a really thick plastic. I'm not gonna be able to open this thing up and force those walls back to their original position. When I do open it to pour, we may hear a little bit of air move in, but it's still very deflated. Here's what's going on. This gas can is nearly empty. It's probably about a quarter full. And that fuel in a liquid state is sitting there in the bottom of the gas can while the rest of the gas can is empty. By empty, I mean that there is a gas that fills in the rest of the container, as in the state of matter, solid, liquid, gas. As you may already know, molecules that are in a gaseous state, like those that are filling the empty part of this container, are moving. And their movement correlates with their temperature. The hotter the molecules get, the faster they move resulting in them colliding with the container walls more often. And this results in a greater pressure inside of the container. And the reverse is also true. The cooler the molecules get, the slower they move, the less frequently they collide with the container walls, and therefore the lower pressure they apply on the container walls. And if you think about it, it totally makes sense that I come into my garage after a cool evening and find my gas can deflated. The last time I used this gas can, I was weed eating outside and it was super hot. And so these molecules were moving really quickly. After I was done with the gas can in the heat, it resealed and I brought it into my garage where the molecules were allowed to cool and slow down. And so now they're applying less pressure to the inside of the container walls than the air pressure outside. And so this thing deflates, it squeezes in a little bit. So what do we do to fix it? I'm not gonna be able to force these container walls back into their original position, but if I can repressurize the air inside, the air will do it for me. And how do I repressurize the air? I can repressurize that air by heating this thing up. So come on everybody, let's put this in the microwave and see what happens. Okay, just kidding. I'm actually just gonna set this gas can out in the sun and I'm gonna let the molecules heat up naturally and I'll set up a time lapse. It shouldn't take very long, but I'll set up a time lapse so that we can actually see this in action. Well, as you can see, all I needed to do was set this thing out in the sun and it reinflated. As a matter of fact, it reinflated too much. Check this thing out. It's a little too inflated now, but I'm not gonna worry about that because when I bring it out of the sun back into my garage, what's gonna happen? It's gonna cool down, the gas molecules are gonna slow down, and it's gonna depressurize. And as a matter of fact, I'll open the nozzle occasionally and let this thing acclimate this time back to its traditional shape. Anyway, I hope this video helps somebody, and hey, if you feel like I've earned your subscription, hit that Man Cycle logo when it comes up. See you next time.